we're going to do is we're going to go uh, to the inside. And the way that we're going to do this, is we're always going to start with scissors. When you're doing dissection and using scissors, this is probably one of your, your best tools to use. This and a, and a probe I find to be uh, just fantastic tools to use. Whenever you're cutting with your scissors, the technique that you're going to use is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to stick just the, the point of the bottom part of the scissor into the skin. And as you stick that little portion in, as you go to cut, you're going to pull up when you cut. This way that prevents you from going down too deep and hitting an organ and every time you pull up you ensure that you are cutting the skin or the muscle and not cutting through any of the organs. The way that we're going to cut through the fetal pig is I normally start down here by the umbilical cord. I'm going to do a, a line straight up here, going to get through the muscle and the skin right here. Then you're going to hit the breastbone or the sternum. You have to cut through the sternum and then I go back on the sides up here. I then come back here, cut straight down which opens up the entire top portion, so the thoracic cavity or the chest starts to open up the top portion of the abdominal region. And then I'm going to come down here and cut along the umbilical cord on both sides. The reason I cut there is because right underneath here is going to be the urinary bladder, so we don't want to cut through that. And then I'm going to go straight down on the sides here, opening up the entire uh, cavity here, exposing all of the internal organs. So I start here by grabbing the umbilical cord as a handle and I slowly snip until I see an opening. That opening lets me know that I'm in the abdominal cavity and the cavity is nothing more than a hollow space that is filled with organs. Then start my cut moving up. Notice that Mr. Rowan doesn't put that bottom blade too far into the pig's internal organs. And it's, it's better to be cautious when doing this. So you can see I've started to go through the skin. Then I got here and I could see all this white sort of shiny tissue. It's called connective tissue. But I didn't go deep enough down here because you're not seeing any of the organs. So I, I stayed up on top of the surface just to sort of play it safe. Now what I'm going to do is now that I see this, these layers have peeled back, I'm going to go a little bit deeper. I'm going to put my scissor underneath here and I'm going to get into the root cage. Mr. Rohn, will you be able to feel the difference when you're cutting through the ribs there? Yeah, it absolutely. It gets a little bit harder. And actually, when you take your scissors with the skin and the muscle, because it's so soft, even if you just push forward, it starts to separate the skin. But once you get to the to the rib cage and to the sternum region, it actually stops. So you know that you're at a harder region and you just gotta keep cutting out. So we're at, we're at sort of an aerial view here. How far down do you recommend going when you, when you cut down the sides? Uh, I like to go, it's really when, I, when I'm looking at it, is I just want it to fall open. So I just keep cutting down and I, and I do a little piece at a time and I, I'm starting to see right now I'm cutting through some of the bone, some of the ribs, moving down the side. I just want it to fall open. So however deep you have to go to get it to fall open, is is what I recommend. You can, uh, it's going to be different for every single pig that you do, so you just kind of feel this section out. But you'll just start to notice that it's starting to fall open to the side. This right here, this white clear stuff, is called connective tissue. It's a glue that kind of holds everything together. So as you're doing this, you'll notice too is that the, the string starts to get floppy because it used to be tight up here. Now that you're separating it, it starts to fall to the side. So what I like to do is I like to use tape. And I'll just tape down the sides. And it keeps it open. I then like to come down this way. I'll come down here. 
So you're sort of making like a skinny U shape around the umbilical cord, no? Mm, yes, and that, that is the point of attachment. So I, I use that there because so, it kind of holds, it's like a nice handle that you can use to maneuver around. Let me come down here on the sides again. And then when I feel ready, I snip that, I fold that back, exposing the urinary bladder, and we start to see the, uh, the intestines, the large intestines here. I then come back up here, and the reason that I don't cut these sides yet is because you'll see right here, here's my, my probe, there's this flap right here that I'm going to have to cut through in order to really fully open this up. But this flap right here is a muscle called your diaphragm. This is going to aid in the process of breathing. So as this, this contracts and relaxes, it helps the opening and closing of your lungs. So I wait to the end so that you can see the diaphragm, but then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut through the sides and cut through the diaphragm.